Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate attribute leveling guide. In today's video, I'm going to show you in a very short period of time how to level up your strength, your constitution, and your dexterity as fast as possible. For now, there's no way to level up our intelligence, but hopefully in the future there will. And just a short note, if any dev watches this video, because a lot of my leveling guides do get nerfed very, very quickly. Um, if any of the scum devs watches this video, um, please leave it like this until you give us ways to level up these skills in a fun way. For instance, a bench press for strength, um, a treadmill for constitution and a boxing bag for dexterity and books for intelligence, okay? Um, I feel this is not a bad way. It's not tedious. Um, most people have got AFK ways to do things. And because of constant updates, you know, we don't know if there's going to be wipes in the future. Can we please leave this until you guys come up with a plan that, you know, that won't be changed in the future again? because it does confuse players. But in any case, without further ado, this is my dojo. Okay, doesn't take a lot of effort to build it. Just, you'll guys see when I go in. Um, at the beginning, I left the top open, but I don't like it when um, your roof is open or when you use your roof um, as a way to spot people and you haven't got a lot of things that can protect you because if I throw a grenade up there, um, it's going to kill you, and, if I, and I don't care if you've got a bed in the base, if I kill you with a grenade up there, I can keep throwing grenades until I've destroyed all your clothing and all your weapons, okay? So if you go back and you see I've destroyed everything and you go and get equipment again, if you don't come out of the base and you keep going back to the roof to try and kill me, and I have figured out how to get the grenade onto your roof, you have got a 300, you've got a 180, okay, um, or 360 angle that you must cover to try and spot me where I can only focus on your roof and sit in a bush or sit in a place where you can't see me and just keep grenading you and your clan and all your equipment, okay? That's why I don't like something like that. Now, although that hole is very small, um, you can leave that open. It gives the dojo a much more... Um, you know, relaxed feeling, but I thought I'd just add this, you know, uh, as a way where you can still defend your, your little dojo right around you, okay? And of course, you need to build this so that you don't get killed while you're AFK, because AFK literally means away from keyboard. You're not at your computer, so someone can kill you very easily. So, as we go in, okay, this is our, do uh, this is our dojo. I've got a bed. I've got um, a place to keep my spare clothing. I've got an RPK here and AWM in case I hear someone outside. Because it's wood, I can just spray the walls, okay? So when I hear someone at the door, I can just grab the RPK and I can aim, okay? And I can try and kill them, you know, and go on, go on with my day. Um, I've, um, you can put food down here, you can put the food in there, you know, and then eat at the table just for a bit of immersion. Um, you can have all your farming equipment here, and then every time you remove weeds, it will um, increase your farming skill. So you can use this to increase farming. Um, you can do target practice with your bow, okay, if you're struggling with the bow. And then once again, I just built the spiral staircase here. So that you can go up the staircase with your gun. Like, I've still got a pistol on me, you know. If you think there's someone outside, you can just... Okay, I don't know you can do that. <laughs> I definitely didn't know you can do that, okay. Not sure what the heck happened there. But just build the staircase, you know. Because you've got the staircase, you can manage the height here. So the, here's the top point, okay. So you can just... You can just try and, you know, try and see if there's someone outside there going to first person. So if you come onto this thing, you can see everything on that side. You can see those trees. Um, okay, you can see those trees. So you can cover, you know, you can cover around the base, see where people are coming from. But the main way to level up all your tributes is to have some weight on you. Some weight definitely, definitely helps. Okay, and it looks like 
what I had here just disappeared. So, yeah. What I had here to level up all attributes disappeared within two days. That's a little bit weird on single player. But we can just do it quickly so I can show you guys what I mean. So, all you do is, um, I think there is a tree here. So, yeah. I'm just going to activate God mode. Okay. To make this a little bit um, faster. So, we're going to take God mode. Going to give myself... Uh, Give myself a uh, uh, axe. I, I know a saw is probably a little bit faster, guys, but let's let's take an axe. Okay. So first thing you're gonna need is a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow isn't too difficult to craft. First you need to craft the wheel for the wheelbarrow, which is um five long sticks, four scrap metal, um two planks, you know, two bolts or two nails, my cutting tool. And a workbench. Okay, so the wheel is a little bit more difficult to craft than the wheelbarrow itself. Once you've crafted the wheel, then you can go to building and you can craft the wheelbarrow. Okay, but you do need basic engineering to craft the to craft the wheelbarrow. And you can just watch my skill leveling guide to see how you can level up engineering to basic very quickly. For the wheelbarrow, you need six long sticks, ten planks, the wheel, okay bolts or two nails and a cutting tool so you can see the wheelbarrow is a little bit easier so i am going to craft the wheelbarrow with guard mode so i don't have to add the blueprints okay so there's the wheelbarrow and then you just cut down a tree okay luckily this tree gives you enough logs you want to fill up the wheelbarrow which is very very important that's why i added extra weight to my character because weight definitely plays a role here, okay? So you just want to press F to let go of the wheelbarrow. And then you want to drag all these logs into the wheelbarrow. Okay, get to these logs as well. Drag that into the wheelbarrow. And I usually drag the logs are the heaviest. The branch is also heavy, but the logs are the heaviest. So you want to fill the wheelbarrow completely like this. Okay. And then you want to take the wheelbarrow. You quickly take it to your base or your dojo or what. You guys can make this as small as you want, okay? You guys can literally um, make this one one foundation. You guys can make this thing one foundation be, okay? So we're just going to push it in here. Uh, and then we're going to put the wheelbarrow here, okay? Release the wheelbarrow. And we're going to close the door, and it's good, uh, you know, it's good to have, again, it's just a wooden door, but with the wooden door, you can put two enforced locks on and two advanced zappers so that nobody can get in. And then all you want to do is you want to grab the wheelbarrow, and you want to hold in A and W, okay? That's all. And you want to walk. See, when I run... I'm making very, very big circles. You want to scroll the mouse wheel back. And you just want to do this all day. Okay, that's all you want to do. And while you're doing this, while you're just holding W and A, you are leveling up strength to the maximum that it can be leveled up by, which is 38,400. You are leveling up your constitution at a very, very high rate, an average of 80,000. And if you keep your energy, your energy here below 50%, then you're going to level up your dexterity at the max, which is 24,000 and something, okay? I think 24,800 or something. Then you can level up that to maximum. And again, you can see our stamina is going into the minus. So it doesn't matter how long we do this. As long as you can put something on your W and A key, okay? Or create a shortcut that your keyboard thinks you're pressing W and A. Um, then we've we've you know we've maxed our stamina now. Our stamina is my in the minus 60, and we're still getting the max. Okay, so you can just do this all day. So yes, ladies and gentlemen. In short, that is how you level up all your tributes as fast as possible. Okay. Hope you have a great day, and I like this method a lot more than the previous ways I showed you guys.
because it doesn't take any finicky work. It's straightforward, easy to understand. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then hit that subscribe button, guys. See you guys next time. Have fun. Cheers.